Dear students, I welcome you all to this digital electronics tutorial series. In this video, we will learn about a problem solution. Actually, this question came in the exam, that is, GATE exam, that is usually conducted in India. Okay, GATE 2000. In the computer science question paper, this question came. So, we will try to solve this question in an in a easy method. So let us first read out this question. This is the question number 2.10. So from here, we can see the simultaneous equation on the Boolean variables x, y, z and w. That means we are given with four different Boolean variables x, y, z and w. These are the given Boolean variables and we are given with four equations four equations we are given so using these four equations we have to find out the solution for x y z and w that means we have to find out the values of x y z and w that will satisfy these four given equations okay so how we can find out we can solve these four equations and we can find out the x y z and w value but that process will be a lengthy process so we can directly use some shortcut method that means we are given with the solution values these four values represents x y z and w values respectively this word is very much important you cannot miss this word so we have to consider these values how we will consider consider these values in each of these option we have to take this x value second one is y value third one is z value and fourth one is w value okay so in this way also here in the second case and the third case and the fourth case okay i will use a shortcut method here so how we can find out suppose let us write down the given equations so let me write down here equations then option a so here we have option a next we have option b these are the small letter okay option a next we have option b next we have option c we will test each of these options for the given equations in the given equations we will put the values and we will try to find out which values of x y z and w that will satisfy the given four equation option d okay so last one is the option d so let me draw a line here the given equations let me write down here we can write x plus y plus z this given equation is equal to one that means we have to check these options that will satisfy or not this first equation second equation is x y third equation is x z plus w is equal to one okay is equal to zero x y equal to zero and the fourth equation is x y plus z bar w bar is equal to zero this is these are the four equations we have four options so let us now find out which option satisfy all these four equations so in the first case for option a what we have x equal to zero y equal to one next we have z equal to zero and w equal to zero in this way we have to put these values in the first case x y z all the values here we have zero plus one plus zero x y z means x plus y plus z means zero plus one plus zero so it will be one so this equation is valid for the option a now let us check for option b here also if we add x plus y plus z this is the x value second one is the y value third one is the z value so one plus one plus zero this is the or operation we have to find out we cannot do the binary addition operation okay so this is the or operation one plus one it will be one so output is one so this is also satisfying the equation number one second option is also valid for the first equation now let us check the third option one plus zero plus one what will happen this is also one so this equation is also valid next we have one plus zero plus zero this is equal to one that means first equation is satisfied by all the four given options now let us go to our second option in the second option x and y if we multiply this that must be equal to zero so let us find out so in the first option we have x value is equal to zero y value equal to one so if we multiply with zero one one what will get zero here that means this equation is satisfied here 
okay now let us check the option b one multiplied with one so what will happen x and y values are one and one in the option b therefore we will be having one that means this option is not satisfying the equation number two let me write down here this is equation number one this is equation number two this is equation number three this is equation number four so i am numbering here also this is equation number one this is equation number two three and four so in the option c let us now test it one into zero it will be zero that means this equation is valid x and y multiplication is zero now let us check the fourth x into y one into zero it is zero so this is also valid okay now let us go for the third equation in the third equation we need not to consider this option b because option b is not satisfying equation number two so we need not to check this option okay i am just putting a cross i am not going to find out that the option b whether it satisfies equation three or not because option b is already not satisfying the equation number two now let us find out for equation number three equation number three is xz plus w is equal to one so let me find out so if xz or w if any of these mean terms if it has a value of 1, what will happen? The output will be 1. Now, let us find out. xz. xz is 0. In the first option, we have x into z. It is 0 plus w. w value is also 0. So, this value is 0. That means this equation is not satisfied. That means this equation is not satisfied by the option number A. So, here this option A will be discarded. So we need not to check equation number four here okay now let us check for option c in option c we have one into zero xz means one into one that means one plus uh, w w value is also one so here we can write this value is one so this is satisfying equation number three as well okay in the fourth equation we have xz xz means it is zero plus w w means also it is zero so what we are getting these values that means the given values in option d is not satisfying equation number three so we need not to check option d for the equation number four so we are remaining with option c so let us check whether option c is satisfying equation number four or not because all the others are not satisfying you did not to check you can directly in the exam point of view you can directly select or you can directly write option c is correct answer so let us check again xy plus z bar w bar xy xy means it is zero zero plus and z bar w bar z bar z bar will be zero and w bar is zero so zero plus zero what will happen we have zero so this is so this option c is satisfying equation number four as well so our correct answer will be option number c okay so let me write down here so this option c is the correct answer but all the other options are wrong here so option d is wrong option b is also wrong option a is also wrong answer okay option c is the correct answer in this way we can directly find out which option is correct thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you